Dhoni was being cool like he always is. He is coming in coolly and hitting those sixes. Uh, so let's have a look at the carrier room air conditioners. Coolest moment of the match. Uh, of course, his sixes are very cool. But besides those sixes, any other cool moments for you all? Yes, yeah, Sahar Sudarshan's 100 for me. The fact that he finally got it. He was so close in the final against the same opposition. So for him to get there today, his first of the RPL history for him. I think it's to be a moment you remember. So I felt like it was cool. Had to wait a whole year almost to get the three <laughs> figure score, but he got it. Shubman's reaction was not very cool after his hundred. Well, it's actually, quite heated. Uh, yeah, he it lost his cool. <laughs> he needs to be around the cool area just to calm himself down. But I actually think that was a cool moment because if Shubman Gill looks back at his career and hopefully he has a very successful career um, and hopefully a future leader potentially down down the track. This might be, you know, a moment in his career where he goes, you know, life was a little bit tricky. It didn't quite go to plan. It's my first opportunity to captain an IPL team. It was a little bit harder. Things didn't necessarily go to plan. So, hey, hey, I learned so much from that that now I am a better skipper. So, mm. and a better player to be able to separate the two, being the captain and then mm. being the batter and still being able to perform. So that yeah, You definitely learn more lessons in the hard times than you do mm. when it's going Correct. good. Well, Shubman's learning all those lessons. Uh, I was really rooting for Rashid today, so I think for me, my cool moment's going to be that catch he took. Because he had that big, broad smile after he took it. It <laughs> almost but didn't clip. Uh, he wasn't cool for a second because he, he thought he, he stuffed it up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, but always rooting for Rashid there. Let's have a look at the cool moments and see what you all have written in on Twitter, X and wherever else. Mitesh says, both GT openers getting a century in exact same balls, 50 ball century, pure class and elegance, no hard hitting. No I hard hitting? I'm hard. sure there was Are a few watching, hard hits. Are they watching a different game? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a few hard hits. I, I think he's talking about what we were talking about in the mid-match, the proper cricketing shots. It just no looked like it was effortless. Yeah, it didn't yes. look like it was okay. hard hitting. Maybe okay. that's what Mitesh was saying. Next up, let's have a look at... Uh, well, let's just look at you. <laughs> well, Eric says uh, at the 16 hour mark of the GT innings, both batsmen at 96 uh, from 48 uh, and 48 balls, and the team score is 196 for 0. That's 1 plus 9 plus 6 plus 0 is equal to 16, and 1 plus 6 is equal to 7. Oh, Thala for a reason. That, that's not right, <laughs> Maddox, to get there. <laughs> I was not expecting that to reach no, that. I but really I remember wasn't. Polly had said, oh, 96, 96, 196. Yeah. Hmm. So I remember we were in the green room. Yeah. And there was three wides and a, a leg bar. Yeah. Those were the four extra airs. Yeah. But did you all see the Thala for the reason coming in? No. no. You all don't, didn't see it. Uh, let's have a look at what our last tweet for the day is. Uh, well, Aryan Borkar. Aryan, thanks for writing in again. Aryan says, Gujarat win, oh. can I lose? But the big news is Bengaluru stay alive. That's my coolest moment of the match. There you go. We have an RCB fan in the house. Uh, but that is pretty cool because we know how everyone is kind of waiting for the other team. And we can see RCB fans sitting with their nails in their mouth. So, mm. so but they're, they're used to that, aren't they, RCB fans? Every year? They mm. sit there waiting, watching, looking at all the games. Fingers crossed, maybe this year. Mm. Let's have a look at the points table. Let's explain why the scenario <laughs> is, is that they're happy. Let's go. There we go. At least Gujarat have got off number 10. So now it's not an odd looking look thing weird. where you go E, E and then still Gujarat. So, okay, so they're still in it. The reason why is they go to 10 and obviously they can get to 14. But Chennai losing means that they don't get to 14. So that makes... Gujarat, Bangalore, Lucknow and Delhi very happy because now they're thinking if we get to 14, we've got half a chance. Hyderabad are happy because if they win, then they go well ahead of Chennai. Kolkata and Rajasthan are happy because they're looking like they're going to secure one and two. And also the fact that the last two games are happening in Chennai mm. means that they're very happy that they might not have to meet Chennai in those last two games on their own home patch. So in fact, besides Mumbai and Punjab, everyone else... He's pretty and happy. Chennai. And Chennai. And Chennai. <laughs> yeah, yes, of yeah, course, yeah. Chennai are not happy with this result. <laughs> but the, the net run rate's gone down from seven to just under five. So that's also a bit of a blow for them. They were sitting pretty. 
Mm. But it keeps it all alive. More scenarios dot com. More scenarios dot com and uh, Polly has very coolly explained these scenarios, which otherwise can just seem so confusing. But we've got him uh, to coolly explain this to us. These were our carrier room air conditioners coolest moment of the match.